Certainly. Uh, my name is Jessica West. I am the Group Human Resources Manager for International Fish Canners and North Sea Foods in Fraser. International Fish Canners obviously can fish, so they do canned mackerel, canned sardines for a wide variety of UK based and international customers. My role as Group HR Manager, obviously I look after the human resources function for um, the entire group and that's everything from recruitment and onboarding um, all the way through to any employee relations issues, um, any staff issues, anything that they need help with. Um, I help the managers manage their people. When I was a teenager, I was so shy, so quiet. Um, literally up until about the age of 18, I didn't speak to anybody. Um, I was so, so quiet and um, quite introverted. Um, and it took me getting a job in a shop uh, when I was around 18. And then that's when I started growing in confidence and being able to speak to people. And obviously over the next few years, I progressed into management roles. Um, I think managers and that saw that I was willing to work hard, put in the effort and learn about the different roles. So I progressed into management and then utilised my skills managing people and I did my CIPD qualifications and then moved across to HR and this is where I am today. So as I started off as a sales assistant, just on the, on the shop floor, tidying the shop, serving customers, um, I moved up to a supervisor role. Um, so again, I was more in charge of just sort of a certain area of the, the, the floor, making sure that you know we had everything in the right places, um, and making sure that all the staff were where they needed to be. And then I moved up to an assistant manager, and then a store manager, and then from there I, I moved to a slightly different company. Um, I moved from a, a sports shop to a fashion shop, um, and that's where I then started really focusing more on the, the managing of the people side. Um, in retail it has quite a high labour turnover so that was one thing I wanted to focus on actually really investing in the staff and just saying a simple good morning or a simple thank you to them at the end of their shift just makes such a difference you know and making sure the staff knew that I as a manager valued them and that really helped with um, with the labour turnover so and that's where I really then realised this is what I'm passionate about is actually managing people and helping other people manage their people. One of the most important things is just get yourself out there, you know, into the world of work, get your foot on the ladder. You know, most of the time you're going to have to start at the bottom and that's not a bad thing because that's where you're going to learn the most. You're going to learn all the different roles in that company that you're in and then, you know, don't be then scared to identify something that you're passionate about, something that you're interested in and then really go for it on that, um, that path. But also, don't be scared to then change over. You know, I worked in retail management for many, many years, and then I realised that my passion and my interest was then leading me down um, a people management side. So I was then able to transfer my skills over to human resource management. So um, the most important thing is just find a job and stick at it, because you know the opportunities will be there and they will present yourself if you're willing to work. Uh, I'm Stuart White, I'm trainee shift manager. I'm overseeing around 30 people throughout the different shifts. I started in IFC last year. I started in the retort department. So I was there for a full year and I applied for the promotion. And I started in the final park department in April. My background starts from as a VAR technician to begin with when I was left college at 18, 19 years old. Then from within the same company I progressed into the office as a project manager and a repairs manufacturing engineer so I was dealing with paperwork, dealing with the repairs of all different kinds of valves. Then I got made redundant from that, then I went and worked for a shiplift company when I was mainly based in Kuwait for 10 months. So that led me into dealing with different nationalities, language barriers and just a whole different work environment where during the summer, well during Ramadan, I had to start work at like 3 in the morning and I was finished by 11 in the morning because the people who were fasting they weren't allowed to eat or drink during daylight, so they set the hours a different way. And then I started working for the Scottish Prison Service as a prison officer in Grampian. 
I was there for two and a half years, which then led me on to another job as a dog pipe operations assistant. And that only lasted a few months because COVID happened. Then I landed in here, got a job working under the talks, and because of listen, paying attention, being interested in things and applied for this job, I've managed to get myself to where I am with the knowledge from here and all my previous experience. It's a mix between working in Kuwait for 10 months, just dealing with the heat in a different environment. You're working outside and you can only stay outside for maybe 30 minutes, half an hour, then you have to get back in, get yourself rehydrated and so on and also the time the prison service it was more about understanding people for me because you got different states of mental health and different issues that each person has it's dealing with different people for different in different ways you can deal with one person one way and another person you have to go to the cut to the opposite end of the scale so i think that helps me in any job role I've got, because I've got transferable skills that way. For me, with the different skills I've learned, I, I feel I'm a very adaptable person, so it doesn't really matter which job role I'm in, I will adapt to the situation. So I think because I've had different jobs, it's made me more pliable. So nothing phases me, I just deal with what's in front of me. And hi, my name's Andrew Mayer. I'm production manager at International Fish Canners in Fraserburgh. So as production manager I have to oversee the whole site um, from intake until dispatch. Um, I've got quite a, quite a team below me. I have three shift managers, I'm a warehouse manager, also got a trainee manager um, now um, and there's 10 charge hands and 11 team leaders. In terms of my career path I've been in IFC now for nearly 10 years. I joined as a um, shift manager and um, it's been four and a half years since I've been production manager. But prior to that, I, um, I think I'll start off at the beginning, I went to university um, after leaving school. I think probably my mum and dad were quite lucky. I was well behaved and um, very conscientious. Um, my father, my grandfather had their own business so I helped out in that, so I'm used to working in the factory environment. It feels quite natural to me. Uh, I'm not from Fraserburgh, um, grew up on the west coast. <coughs> um, went to university in Stirling and did a management degree. And after that, I joined my dad's business, um, exporting prawns and scallops. Um, and then I left there and went to Tesco for a little while. So I've seen the, you know, a different side to the, the food industry which is very fast paced, um, certainly not the factory um, environment that I grew up knowing, um, so I didn't like that. So I, come back, I went back to work with my father for a while and then when the opportunity came up to it in IFC, that's when I joined IFC. So you know, I, um, I really like the, the pace in a factory, the, there's so much happening and it's, for me it's about spinning the plates, keeping everything going in production, that's what gives me the buzz. Just come in with an open mind. Um, you're going to meet lots of different people, all different ages, um, and just be prepared to, to interact with them.